Hello to everyone. I'm going to explain the analysis of the football match Spain Germany of 17 of November of 2020. This first graph is about the dominance is understood also by another analysis as expected treat. You can see here which team uh, was dominating considering the criteria of progression towards opposite goal regarding the progression of the rival team. What is curious here is that Spain obtained its first goal when Germany was dominating in a period of dominance of Germany. Even the second goal is just after a switch phase. So the two starting goals uh, were surprised for Germany. Even the goal number four was in a period of uh, dominance of uh, Germany. Considering that two of the goals of Spain were scored by counter-attack, it was a surprising moment uh, in some of the six goals scored by Spain. If we disaggregate this dominance uh, graphic on an um, attacking graph for both teams, we obtain this uh, picture. So we can see how the top is the line the most has advanced the team. So this top dot means that the team reach box. This means that it is reaching the final third. This below is that is in opposition half but not in final fair and this finally of the bottom is that the the team in this case Spain didn't reach the opposition half on the attack so what can we see is that Spain scores the, the goal when uh, Germany was dominating and was reaching the area of Spain after that, it was a period of dominance of Spain. And if we go to the third goal, of uh, to the goal number four, sorry, uh, we see how it was after uh, Germany reached the, the area of Spain. So we can see plateau phases. We, we see here in the second half, a plateau phase of uh, Germany without reach uh, final third. Uh, so this means not is done by time scale, it's done by possession scale. If we go just for the analysis of the goals, this table normally is not meaningful for football, but in the case of so many goals like this match, uh, it could be uh, useful. Uh, uh, we can see how were split the goals of Spain. So Spain score six goals from uh, 10 shot on targets and 22 total shots expected goals on this model was 3.17 uh, and for germany just 0 0.09 if we consider possession value and uh, that is like the previous graphs which was the quality of the of the possession regardless if a shot were obtained or not we see that Spain was dominating also but not so many like in the expected goals uh, linked to shots Spain obtained 136 by 049 of Germany in possession value for for Spain the goals uh, were obtained four by open goals, open play goals, and two by set pieces. The two set pieces uh, goals were 
made by cross and by corner. And the four goals on open play of Spain were made by uh, two by counterattack, one by cross and another by through balls, internet balls, overlapping the offside line. That is the, the cluster that packed the, this type of goals. Regarding the how was reached the the final third when the goals were obtained, so all the goals of, of Spain were obtained after reaching the final third by pass, by passing, not running with ball, not driving the ball, no, no aerial duel, no regain, to obtain the six concrete positions that Spain obtained the goal. If we make a more detailed uh, analysis, not focusing only on goals, but amplifying this to the shots, uh, we see that uh, Spain obtained seven goals by set pieces and Germany uh, no one. So the, the two shots of Germany were created one by internal gain, another from out of box shot. It was a, a shot of target because the criteria is considering just the saves and the goals as shot on target and not the post. So Spain, of the 22 shots, seven of them were made by out-of-box shots on positional attack, six by cross and aerial shots, that four of them were in set pieces, and five by through balls and internal balls. What is curious is that Spain obtained a very high uh, number of amount of uh, counterattack shots for how were well obtained we can see in this matrix that two of them were created by by pass one of them was created by a regain on the final third by spain and we can see just three because the fourth was after a rebound a second shot after a, another shot so it's a tribute just for three, for four positions. So regarding the positions, uh, it was a, a low uh, number of positions in this match. Just 64, normally uh, 84 by, by match is the reference by match and team. So just 64 positions by team and a match. Uh, Spain was, was able to avoid uh, the entry of Germany on the, on the opposition half, just 31 times Germany entered in the half of Spain, the normality is in 38 and Spain uh, real 60, sorry, and Spain uh, lower than, than normal, but if we see last third, the normality is in 38, Spain almost there, and Spain entering the box 16, the normality is 14. And we can see how Germany uh, had a very low number of entries on the box, but at the beginning of the match, it was not in this in this progression. In this case, uh, Germany was able at, at the beginning of the match to enter in the, in the box. So uh, we can see here uh, how Spain reached the final third, so nine times obtained the, the entry on the final third just after a regain of the ball, four by aerial duels, three driving the ball, and 21 the majority by, by passing. Of these 21 times that Spain entered in the final third, 12 times obtained a, a shot, shot. And a real high number of efficiency of ratio of uh, shots after aerial duels won by, by Spain. If we go to the matrix, we see that Spain didn't obtain uh, shots after reach the, the final third with uh, running with the ball. And just one shot from out of the box 
from aerial duels after aerial duels I'm gonna say aerial duels uh, by cross. Now, regarding Germany, very low number of uh, entries by by passing. In fact, the main situation for Germany to obtain the entry in the final third was by re regainings in the in the final third. But did, Germany didn't obtain any shots from these uh, regains. In the matrix, uh, just two shots, one by through ball after reach the final third bypass, another uh, driving on the ball, running with the ball, and out of box from far away. For an analysis of laterality, another we see how the majority of the goals of Spain had its origin on the left and we can see how Germany didn't obtain any shot creating the final pass by its right uh, wing. So, uh, as final vision is to, to have uh, the expected goal and the possession value on the same graphic. So if we have the the two red curves, we can see how Spain obtained uh, more goals than expected and more expected goals than possession value. So very efficient, very clinical uh, the the match of of Spain, and we see the opposite in, in Germany. So Germany obtained better possession value that expected goal. Uh, even we can see how uh, the possession value of Germany was better than Spain after the the final quarter of the of the first half. Uh, it, it was in this dot, this continuous line we, we can see here and after what Spain improves. And it's a clear vision of uh, how was uh, the match. Thanks for observing this video. Uh, have a nice day.